Welcome to episode 4 of DIO or doing it ourselves. We're going to be working in the washroom here. We got a lot of work to do. We're going to take out one of these cabinets in the little dowel rod. We're going to clean up the wall where, you know, a couple years ago there was like a cold water uh, spill on the wall. So we're going to bleach the wall there. And we're taking the dryer and the washer out. We're gonna get rid of this floor here, which is already, you know, in bad shape. And we're going to actually paint the floor. So this is gonna be a nice little adventure. And we're gonna bring the stackable washer and dryer here in the next couple days. And the uh, hallway area to the bathroom. We're not gonna do the bathroom, but we're gonna go probably to the bathroom, take out all this, this bad condition floor you know and just paint and we're probably going to put a gfci ground fault outlet here where it has what's i know it's by code you need one i think but maybe by code back when this uh place was built you didn't need one because that definitely does not look like a ground fault outlet so we're going to put a dedicated ground fault outlet right eventually here. we're going to probably have to put another exhaust fan here where, we're, where i like sealed it off and insulated it and all it's going to be a pretty big job but that's definitely not going to be on this episode so we're working on taking the cabinet out now we probably got to start tearing out the floor can't really uh video it easily so that's why you didn't see like a comprehensive video of me taking the, the cabinet out because I couldn't hold the drill left-handed and really take it out and film right-handed, so. But it's out. And this floor was a pain in the butt. So we ended up using an oscillating tool. And you can see there's a lot of glue and you know from time, dirt and stuff that got in the glue. So we got to pick each little piece of uh, uh, floor up and figure out how we're going to clean this up and dry it but yes until I started using the oscillating tool it was just taking forever to try to chip the second half so right now we're we got a fan going and just turned it off to do the video and dehumidifier going to try to go ahead and dry this out as quickly as possible the floor and the bottom part of the walls where we scrubbed them so hopefully We'll get to paint soon. This little panel off just to check the water, make sure there's no water leaks or anything, and check the pipes, and everything looks excellent. I guess I got some help here. Are you doing a good job, Charlie? Yeah, I am. This is hot. This is hot. Well, this is our first coat. We'll have to come in tomorrow and do the little edges, the corners and stuff with the paintbrush and if there's any areas in the middle that didn't get coated well, we'll do a second coat on it. We'll see how it dries and see what it looks like then. So we've done the second coat of paint on the floor and I debated whether to even do two coats because it's not really 100% for aesthetics but I guess for durability we went ahead and did two coats. Plus, you know, mainly one coat around the edges and stuff. Um, so it's going to be about eight hours to cure. It's nice and shiny now. So we had an issue because the dryer in the stackable wash tower, the power cord, goes all the way to the top of the unit. This is like five and a half foot plus high. We had a four foot cord. And even a six foot cord, it would be cutting it so close we probably couldn't even get it to the uh, plug that is all the way on the floor. So, I mean, would we have two or three inches of wiggle room to try to like push it back at the wall and uh, make it work or, or would it just not work at all? So I had to order a 10 foot cord. So unfortunately it means cutting this uh, this uh, DIY episode or DIO episode four into at least two parts. I didn't really want to do it. I would like to uh, present it the finished product in this video, but that is not going to happen. So some people might be wondering why we're moving the uh, laundry room back to the original laundry room versus putting it in the uh, master bathroom. So hopefully Natalie will put out a video soon to explain, you know, her reasonings and stuff. But we're just 
you know, I'm just doing this video as a way to show y'all that, you know, we're getting some stuff done by ourselves as well, you know, the I.O. series. Until next time.